اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to look into how to add control variables in Smart PLS. Now, it might be that gender may affect the commitment of employees or that age may affect the commitment of employees. In order to assess whether or not gender and age can act as a control variable, we will add both gender and age as variables. Now, although they are single item, but they are added as latent variables. So the first thing we do is we add a connection, look here, and then age. Now gender is a categorical variable with two options, male and female. So we do not need to create a dummy variable. Age is a continuous variable in this case, if I'm not wrong, let me have a look. Yes, it is a continu continuous variable. Now, let's rename them. Gender. Age. Let's press OK. And calculate bootstrap for now just 500 all good let's start now gender does not have any effect but age does have a significant effect now in this case let's say what we can do is let's copy these results here in Excel format put them here let's say these are We do not need these two columns just to simplify the things. Let's put them here. And this is margin center with control variables. And let's do without control variables for now and see what the output is. And the R square was, let's see. 0.495 for OC R square 0.495 for OC and in this case since we've got two endogenous variables we can further link these as well here and then again we can run bootstrapping and let's see whether or not the two variables have got a confounding effect, the control variables. Now gender in both cases was insignificant and age on CC or collaborative culture is insignificant. Now let's say, now that we have tested it with the control variables, let's remove it. Let's do without control variables. Bootstrapping, start. Let's have a look at the R square value. 0.482 for OC. So without control variables, it's 0 0.482. So this means that age in this case, which was significant as well, and does carry an impact on your endogenous variable as a control variable. So it does have a confounding effect. Again, moving back, let's go to bootstrapping results to Excel format. And let's paste it here. Control V, we do not need these, delete, and this is without control variables, you can name it model 2 as well, and do we need these, well, yes, for now, let's keep it, delete, if we have a look here, look at this, the R square value is, it increases within with addition of age as a control variable. And if you look here, the impact is more or less the same. 
and the results that are insignificant with the control variables are insignificant without the control variables as well. So yes, the significance value changes, but still the beta value increases. R A C C R A C C. So what we can conclude is that age as a control variable does affect the endogenous variable, whereas without the control variables, the significance values with and without control variables do not change much. What if we've got a variable, a control variable that has got more than two categories? Let's assume that is job rank. In this case, we need to create dummy variables for each of the rank. That is job rank 1, which is junior, job rank 2, which is middle, job rank 3, which is senior. So how do you create dummy variables? So we are going to create three variables. Let's say this is junior, this is middle, and this is senior. Now this is junior, so one, and just copy it. And up until here, this is one, and this will be zero because the rank is one, which is junior, so middle and senior will occupy the number zero up until here. Now this is two, again this is middle, so middle variable or middle column will become one. So let's copy and this will go up until here we see number three. So, so this is middle and this will become zero. Let's copy. And this two will become zero. Let's paste it here as well. And now this senior column or the cells in the third or H column will become one for senior level employees. And the rest of the columns will be zero. Let's paste it here. This is zero, this is zero. Copy it and let's paste it. Now we have created dummy variables for job rank. We are only going to add these two because this will serve as a reference category. And how to create dummies in SPSS, the video will be shared in the description as well. Let's save it. Let's import the data again. Let's get this open. Let's name it data one. Let's come back here. Let's see here. Here it is. So junior will serve as a reference category. So we'll add middle and we'll add senior. And let's say, add it like this, add it like this. You can add it to the other endogenous variable as well. Let's add it like this, add it like this. Select run bootstrapping. Okay, I did not rename them just to make this is middle and this is senior. Bootstrapping start. Now, in this case, if you look here, no impact of middle level employees or job rank on the endogenous variables, no impact. So your job rank does not carry a significant impact on your endogenous variable. That is no confounding effect of job rank on the endogenous variable. So there is no need to control these variables. The effect or the relationships or the, the weight of impact does not change significantly. I hope this video would have helped you understand how to add control variables in Smart PLS.